Hello everyone and welcome to our Pal World Survival Guide. We are talking about milk today because milk is a rather important cooking, uh, cooking ingredient. Uh, very popular in the use of cake and if you want to get any kind of breeding done in Pal World, you're going to need some milk. So let's talk about milk. Uh, obviously it is a, a cooking ingredient. Uh, it makes a number of cooking recipes. Uh, some of them being uh, hot milk, obviously, uh, pancakes, um, I think it was like mushroom soup somewhere, yeah, mushroom soup, and then obviously cake. And when it comes to getting milk, there's kind of like two ways. The first is with merchants, and I actually have like a wandering merchant right here who's like <laughs> freaking out, but you know what? It works. Uh, he uh, will actually sometimes sell milk. Um, I believe he has some on him right now. Yeah, right there. Um, and that costs 50 coins uh, per milk, basically. And if you don't have a wandering merchant who just uh, happens to spawn and then get stuck in your base, uh, you can also buy it from the merchant in the small settlement location. I know he sells it there as well. So uh, you can certainly buy milk, uh, which can potentially help you in if you're like a, in, a, in a bind. But the much better way is to farm milk, to set up a milk farm, basically. And how you do that is with a mazarina. Where's my mazarina? Where did you go? What you doing over there? You're just out for a walk. <laughs> but this is the, the mazarina. It is a cow-like uh, pal, which makes sense. It's really just a cow with, like, fangs, I guess. I don't know. Um, but the mazarina, uh, they will, when you assign them to a ranch... They will drop milk over time, basically. So it's a uh, really good way to, you know, set up a farm because it's as, you know, they're, they're kind of like chilling over there. They're dropping your milk. Your people, your other pals are, are transporting it and storing it somewhere. Uh, you'll have uh, a good amount of milk in no time. So uh, Mazarinas, they are... If we go to their uh, pal deck, let's see if we can't find them. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Uh, they are neutral types. They're not like the hardest things to, to take down. So obviously if you capture them or defeat them, they also have a potential of dropping milk. So that's always a, a, a thing that you can do too. You can just go out and hunt them down and uh, get them for their milk. And their habitat is, it's a, it's just very, this, this little small area right here, which is basically like the, the bamboo groves biome. It's kind of like in that area. And that's where they tend to spawn. Just really just, I mean, you can see it's like right there basically. And, um, they tend to kind of like spawn in groups together. So there's a good chance that you could maybe get a few of these in one run. Um, and then obviously, uh, if you don't have enough room in your ranch, you might have to make a few ranches, but literally you just kind of pick them up, you throw them over there and then they'll just do their thing. Like our friend is doing here right now, just grazing it up. And then eventually they'll, they'll drop their milk and somebody will pick it up. Eventually I see one right there, right there. If anybody wants to pick it up, <laughs> I guess I'll do it. But, uh, uh, and that's just kind of how you get your milk and you can, then you can get going on the making the different cooking recipes that you want to make. So that is how uh, the two different kind of ways to get milk and how to set up a passive farm, really. Um, oh, I think I think our friend just dropped one, actually. Yep, <laughs> that's all a very uncomfortable face. So there we go. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you the next one. Until then, keep surviving and keep thriving.